Hello, my friends. This is Arsene. And Arsene, you're doing great work in Ternopil. What's the name of your town? Competency. Competency. And you have a hub that helps Ukraine in so many ways. And I'm so grateful you're going to give me a tour now and give you guys a tour. So are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> Hi, guys. My name is Arsen. I am the, the head of this hub. And we are providing support to IDPs and to soldiers. And uh, if I can say uh, for the current situation, we provide more support to soldiers now. But still, we have some services for IDPs. So please welcome. Okay, let's go in. Yeah, we, we got some medical support from our American partners. And uh, we will see later the volunteer of this organization and he is sorting everything. Uh, so we got something like three tons of, of uh, medical stuff. And it's, it's here. Yeah. So we can see all the medical stuff. So it goes all the way up the corridor. So we're gonna go, where are we going now? This is the our office. This is the office. Okay. Great. Our volunteers are working here. And uh, so we have four volunteers that are coming here every day. Um, yeah, and we provide support to soldiers so they can come. So we are working with like personal, um, like personal support. Uh, we have 250 people who were drafted to the army and if they need like clothes, cars, starlings, um, power banks, power generators, uh, so it depends on their need. Uh, we, uh, we are doing, we are launching different uh, fundraising campaigns and collect money to buy something for them. And you've done great work. So you took this place and there was nothing in it and you've turned this into a really uh, cool office space and functional. So you help people as well to, like local people, IGPs, do their laundry and... Yeah, so we also yeah. provide some services for IGPs. Uh, we have uh, public laundry and public co-working. So people, people can come and work remotely from this place. They also can organize some events, uh, mostly non-formal trainings, non-formal education, uh, meetings, things like that. And... Uh, oh. Yeah, so, and also they can use our public laundry to wash and, uh, and dry their clothes. Uh, great work, and I see you're a weightlifter as well. Yeah. So you have all these... Uh, we need to be uh, in weights. good shape, because, need, yeah, who knows? You need to be in good shape to help <laughs> Ukraine. So congratulations. So how can people help you? And you know that, yeah? uh, you, uh, could, you, could you just demonstrate this stuff? Uh, yeah, this, mm. this one. You see? Oh, these, yeah, sure. We have a okay. job that uh, we need, we need uh, a weapon uh, mm. because uh, otherwise we should use this one. Oh. So. <laughs> so please send weapons to Ukraine, otherwise they're going to use hatchets. So how can people help you? Um, they can follow our Facebook or Instagram page. They can just, I don't know, support uh, our fundraising campaigns if they want. Uh, they can... Uh, tell about us, they can tell about Ukraine and uh, so we're not, as, uh, we're not uh, thinking about some local story because we're working for the whole country and uh, even if you support other communities as hubs, we are, really, we are really happy with that. Okay, well congratulations and it's really great work. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> and um, Slava Ukraini, um, help the heroes of Ukraine who are helping the heroes of Ukraine. So, well done, and I'll put the link below where you can help if you can. So, cool. See you soon, guys. Thank you.